I went to Dance Open uh, in St. Petersburg in April, and uh, the next day I was invited to take class at the Marinsky through Yuri Fatiev. And I took class, and he came to the class to watch me, and uh, he then invited me to dance James and La Sophie, uh two weeks after that. And I was in complete shock because it, it was my absolute dream, my whole life as a dancer, to perform in the Marinsky Theatre. And um, so the, the Russian culture is obviously much different um, to Western culture. And the reason why I love Russian ballet and um, Russia in general is because of the appreciation they have for the arts and the appreciation they have for their artists. That is apparent when you're taking class within the company and the teaching methods of, of the professors and of uh, the way the dancers dance. It's very soulful and it comes from an inner uh, willingness to, to create and to express oneself to their truest essence. Uh, the dancers are very quiet at first and it's almost like they have a shell and you have to crack it. Um, but it's almost more real because you can make and develop true uh, relationships through reality rather than having a fakeness, um, which is common um, in other places. But in that company, I really noticed that at the beginning, it's, it's all quiet and very reserved. And uh, until you start speaking and until you start developing a friendship and a relationship, um, then you start uh, having this true, true, true relationship with someone which will, I think, last forever. It's quite genuine. Um, so I worked with Vladimir Kim and um, Olesia's coach was Gabriela Komleva and uh, both incredible artists of the past and great coaches now. Uh, and I appreciate the, the Russian system of coaching and developing with someone who's very close to you. Even if it was just for 13 days that I was there, I developed a relationship with my coach and he helped me with everything. Helped me with the details, with um, the way I was feeling, with my body, uh, technique, every single possible uh, thing you can nitpick at, he nitpicked. And um, that's the best way to develop as an artist and as a dancer, through constant uh, trial and error, through having someone in front of you who has had knowledge of the past and is passing it down to you. I haven't had really any experience of James and or a full-length ballet, so everything was quite new, which was extremely exciting but nerve-wracking at the same time. Uh, and there were certain moments, even before I went on stage, that I didn't know what I was doing because I was still watching the video because I had 13 days to prepare. Um, and it was actually quite funny because uh, this goes back to the friendship um, and relationships with the Russians. The corps de ballet, they, not many of them speak English and uh, before my variations they would uh, be on the side and I would gesture to them and they, they said, good luck man, um, we wish you the best, like go kill it. And I was like, thank you so much. <laughs> and then in the real, um, it's, I never really rehearsed with the corps de ballet, uh, and I didn't have a stage rehearsal or an orchestra rehearsal, so uh, it was very fresh on stage, uh, let's say, which was very organic, but uh, also I had to have my blinders on. I had to look um, everywhere and I had to be very attentive. So there's a, there was a part where um, we go, we do a step in the reel, and then one of the Russian boys, like, did this, <laughs> then another one did that at the end of the dance to, to tell me where to go, <laughs> so it was very sweet. And honestly, before the performance, I should have been very nervous because I've never really worked with the props before the, the performance. I've never um, practiced uh, catching the ring at the end and putting the money in my pocket to give to Madge. I've never done it before, so um, it was exciting on stage, let's just say. And uh, of course some things went wrong, 
but all in all, surprisingly, not a lot. Um, and it couldn't have gone better in terms of, of um, making mistakes within the choreography or, or um, technical errors. It couldn't have gone better for the circumstances. Uh, and I think that stage has this magic and um, legends of the past that have been on that stage and have danced there and shared their artistry. and. There's, there's definitely that atmosphere in the theater and on that stage. So that completely helped me um, through that whole experience. And uh, also my partnership with Alessia um, really made me feel more comfortable on stage. And she's just such an ethereal Sophie, and she really knows how to express herself and, and share the exact emotion that needs to be shared in that certain moment. and. I, we totally bounced off of each other, which was uh, very helpful for me. Okay. I shared myself completely with the audience in that theater, and all I wanted was to uh, portray James as best as I could portray him and add myself to it. And um, I've learned so much and have really opened my eyes to certain aspects of my character through this role of James and I've actually found myself even more by practicing the pantomime and um, by analyzing his character traits I've, I've developed as a human as well and vice versa. Uh, I brought myself to the role as well and I think that I added myself to James which created an originality for the role. And I never want to copy what other James, Jameses have done in the past. I wanted to create my own James. And I think the audience really understood that and they embraced it. Uh, and especially being on the stage with Alessia, I think the audience already loves her so much and they were really waiting to see what I would do with the role or I mean, they've never seen um, me in the Marinsky, so I think the audience was um, quite surprised um, of how I, I shared myself with them and how um, I took them into the story and how we could go on that journey together. Um, the experience here in London has been lovely. I've met some incredible people and artists um, that I've shared my life with and I have shared experiences with on stage. Uh, I feel like I've learned so much within this company and I've been given some beautiful opportunities to develop and um, I think that this company is so progressive and uh, promotes new ideas within the dance world and it was an honor to be a part of it and to um, be within the presence of so many beautiful people. Um, and of course I'm so thankful to everyone who has helped me here and um, to the direction of the company. Um, it, it has genuinely been a beautiful experience that I'll never forget about and I'll always keep within my heart. You feel things inside of you and you have your gut feeling telling you certain things. Um, this place has treated me so well and I've really enjoyed my time. Uh, but some places aren't the right place for everyone. And I don't think that this company was exactly the right place for me in terms of the way of working, in terms of, of uh, the, what I want in my career. And uh, it was definitely a very hard decision. Uh, I absolutely believe in fate and I believe life takes you places that um, you need to be taken to. You cannot plan too much into the future and, and plan the exact place you want to be in because there could be other factors changing your life. Um, everything that has happened in my short career so far 
um, has been sort of manifested in my mind. I've visualized moments, um, but this is definitely one of those moments that I haven't visualized. I haven't planned on, on leaving a company after a year. Of course, I would, I'd love to stay if it were in the right circumstances, but um, I think a natural force has taken me somewhere else, mentally and now physically. I'm going to be in another place, and um, that was not planned on my part after the pretty lasagna. It was not, and um, but that that's what's beautiful about life that that we're constantly uh, evolving and we're constantly we constantly have situations that are unexpected and that keep us on our feet and uh, don't allow us to get comfortable because um, I think when you start to get comfortable you start to to become a little bit more mediocre in a way and I, I cannot settle for mediocrity I can't settle um, for averageness I, I really need to keep my work in, in a place where it's constantly evolving and it's constantly being helped by the people around me. And um, yeah, I, I, I think though that there's definitely a guide guiding me through this beautiful dance career and through this crazy dance world um, and through life. So.